YouTube, Justin Skaggs here from Style and Strings Lacrosse, where we appreciate a good pocket almost as much as we appreciate this video that the Lacrosse Network debuted. That was the most viewed lacrosse video until now. This is. Get out of here. Get this is the ship out shout out. That is seriously one of the best lacrosse videos I've ever seen. It shows you how far the sport spread, and even five to ten years ago, no one in any other country would feature lacrosse in a music video or anything. Granted, they got the sport wrong, but it's still awesome that it got that exposure. We're going to start out today with an uh, awesome uh, gold master going to Jack in Texas. Every time one of these comes through the door, we always have a discussion as to whether or not it's good. I personally love the gold master. Uh, I think it is uh, fantastic to see how long this head from STX has lasted. It's a really reasonable and affordable price, very light, and if you get it strung by a professional, it doesn't suck. Now if you get the factory model one, those pockets are terrible and they are very, very difficult to string because they're basically a triangle. But thank you very much for entrusting us with your pocket. If you guys ever have a Gold Master, put the G Pro in it, works great. It's not often that we get Tribe 7s in the door, it's even more rare that they would both go out with the same pocket. So uh, here we have one for Eugene and one for Gavin. One's in Pennsylvania and the other one's in Idaho. Uh, and these are another very difficult pocket to string. So if you need us to save your Gold Master or your Tribe 7 or possibly save you from a shark... pockets turn out great. Uh, a lot of us have uh, skills and talents outside of just the cross stringing that we bring into our pocket stringing when we get something like this. So we utilize a lot of knots that are unconventional to take care of the top string uh, problem that is very evident in the Tribe 7 and we're always happy to string them for you. You guys can pick anything off of the website and we absolutely can string it into a Tribe 7. We get that question all the time. Stick of the week this week is uh, actually going to be split. These are two new projects that we started and we're going to uh, release videos. This is the String League winner replica and this goes to Lacrosse Man. Very good job, very cool pocket and we're going to have a full video based just on this and its release sometime next week. I got to talk to the guys at the Lacrosse Network see what it is they want to do about it since it was part of String League. So a few of you guys mentioned that uh, I know Mike and I were doing that competition and then things just got crazy busy and then he left for his internship. So I'm just gonna actually let Mike uh, create a video. He'll choose whoever gets like two mesh kits. Stay tuned and uh, next week I'll just, we're just gonna pick him a random. So sorry, we're gonna give out two and hopefully that's some consolation. But yeah, we just, we ran out of time. This one is going out to Jen Mustin. This is the coach over at York College who had an amazing season and uh, completely and totally wrecked D3, got very, very far, and uh, we're very proud that they're our hometown team. So we uh, have been asked a lot to create one of these ladder pockets or a caterpillar pocket. So we took it one step further. We got a brand new show coming out on Saturday called Stick Tech, and uh, we're gonna do this frequently whenever we find something cool. But I'm gonna teach you guys on that show how to actually build a jig and make one of these yourself. This is a custom center channel that you can make at home you can put it into a men's pocket, women's pocket. We're really excited to release this technology to you guys and see what it is you do and see what it is you do with it. So this is a brand new uh, pocket style for us. We didn't invent it. We see it all over uh, Instagram. I'm not 100% sure who should get the credit. So if you guys know, put it in the comments section below. But either way, on Saturday, we're going to release a video telling you guys how to make your own and also how to make the jig that lets you make it a lot easier. So next time, you guys, make sure you check out Saturday. It's going to be an awesome show. Take care. Keep waxing. We did the New Zealand national team. That's for the Women's uh, World Cup, U19. And we dyed up about 24 of these things with a single one-color fade. New Zealand on the top. Uh, Frank and I tagged.